Raiders. Good morning, South Beach. We're back at the world famous Fifty Gym for my tip of the week. We just had Baboon Lewis Palomino on, the bare knuckle champion. Hand conditioning, uh, I can't say enough. When the fighter breaks, when anyone actually breaks their pinky knuckle, in the hospital they call it a fighter's fracture because it's so common. So can conditioning is boring and slow, but very necessary. If you see some of the old pictures of Muhammad Ali at the Fifth Street Gym, you'll see him wearing mittens, bag gloves, one layer thin, no padding, bag gloves while he's hitting a heavy hard canvas bag to condition his hands. Then in the fight when he's got wraps and, and 10 ounce gloves on or 8 ounce gloves on, then that combination will be enough for him to maintain healthy hands so he continue to make it through those 15 round wars that he did. Today, bag gloves now look like boxing gloves. It's very strange. If you go on your title websites or any of these, they sell bag gloves and they're just regular gloves with Velcro on them. Uh, so the conditioning has to be done outside of that. Knuckle push-ups, makiwari boards with the Japanese where it's a one plywood on plywood or a two by four on two by four where it bends, it gives a little bit. Um, you're not breaking bricks with it. The Shaolin Kung Fu monks would hit bags of sand. All done slowly but surely and consistently to get the tendons, the ligaments, and the bones to adapt. If you're developing your power, now, we have such great modern strength and conditioning coaches doing jumping and heavy weights and core training and medicine ball. You're developing all this power and your hand stays the same. Something's got to give and it's going to be your hand. Even if you win the fight by knockout, in 60 days, your opponent is lifted from his suspension and you have just recovered from surgery and have to rehab your hand. You might not fight for six months to a year. So my tip of the week, again, is hand conditioning. Uh, I think the most... Everyone loves doing planks these days. The most simple and safe one for you is the plank on your knuckles instead of on your forearms. So all fighters need to take their tools very seriously, keep them sharp, keep them strong, and condition their hands. I am the greatest.